nonetheless, at the end of the day, we want cows with high milk yield and low maintenance cost, and then again, capturing a high proportion of that consumed energy uh, for milk production. And so cows at uh, five or six multiples of maintenance in terms of the amount of uh, energy going to milk production versus the amount going to uh, maintain their body functions um, are efficient and we want to select among those for, for those that can use that feed most efficiently. And so the approach that we like and that CDCB is going with is feed saved. It was developed by Jenny Price and her colleagues in Australia a few years ago. It's fairly simple interpretation and it, what it does is combines two things. So residual feed intake with excess maintenance costs. So does the cow eat more or less than she's expected to based on her size and her performance? And then is she um, bigger than she needs to be to do this job, right? And, and it's uh, those two things together make feed saved. It's so healthy. feed saved is the combination of those two. The reliability on average will be about 37% for young calves. And that's much less than we're used to, right? So we'll make some mistakes, but the economic value is pretty high and there's genetic variation. The standard deviation, uh, according to some calculations by Paul Van Raden at the USDA is about 109 pounds per lactation. Mm -hmm.